the unconscious is a material reality. There is no such thing as a human nature independent of culture. Desire is never anything other than an assemblage. The question of life is not the question of ideology. The unconscious must be considered as a collective assemblage that exists in a state of permanent becoming. The relationship between capitalism and schizophrenia is such that one could not conceive of the latter without the former. There is no longer any need to struggle against anything except our own inertia. A revolutionary politics must always focus on the creative aspect of desire. Schizoanalysis is a method of decoding that seeks to free the flows of desire from the repressive structures of society. The enemy is not individual persons, but the institutionalized forces that sustain oppression and exploitation. The unconscious is not a thing, but a process. Capitalism is the global machine that homogenizes all cultures and eliminates differences. The challenge for us is to find ways of connecting with each other across the boundaries that divide us. There is no individual solution to the problems of the world. The task of the intellectual is not to represent a group or speak on its behalf, but to create the conditions for new forms of subjectivity and collective action. Politics is about creating spaces where new modes of life can emerge. We need to invent new forms of struggle that are not based on the model of the party or the vanguard. Revolution is not just a matter of overthrowing the existing order, but of creating a new world. The ecology of the mind is more important than the ecology of the environment. The revolution of desire is the only revolution that matters.